This is another response from Clint 0000. I also had an x-ray on my shoulder, scapula and ribs, and it came out fine. The movements were as weak. Um, I can't do any overhead presses with my arms because the shoulders give out. When I try to do a fly motion with the dumbbells or cables, the shoulder gives out. When I try to do a wide grip bench press, it gives out. But if I do a close grip um, bench press, it seems fine. But when I um, do lateral raises with the dumbbell, it's weak as the arms seem to go in different positions um, than the other. I also feel um, that I keep needing to push my shoulder down sometimes during the day so the scapular bone sticks out but no pain there at all. Um, about rubbing around the scapula, do you think it will help it out? Do I massage it for a while? Should I get a cortisone injection into my shoulder? Thanks Ryan. Well, um, to start going kind of backwards is um, you said the, the scapular bone kind of st sticks out a little bit because more likely the your shoulder area is more rotated forward and maybe elevated to some and if, if you knew anything about posture evaluation um, you could do posture evaluation um, even take a picture of yourself and what you do with the picture is make sure everything's level all over the place I mean the actual floor so make sure the camera is just angled just right and then what you do is you draw lines, make sure they're straight lines, and see if one shoulder's higher than the other, or hips higher than the other, um, or heads tilted, all those kind of things. So again, a posture evaluation. Um, but again, that area is more contracted with what it's doing, and the hand is more likely internally rotated like this too. So it's, it's, it's rotating in, the whole shoulder is, um, that's just more contracted. And, when you're lifting things like over your head like this kind of thing, right here the main muscle for that is the supraspinatus. That's the well, the action, the main major action. It's not technically action, but the main thing it does is it stabilizes the humerus. So sometimes if that muscle is weak, um, that's why you're going to get some problems then. But the way to locate that muscle is you find the spine of the scapula. So you find the clavicle and roll over here and just when you start to feel the scapula then you go back a little bit and it's a little indent in here and there's two different trigger points for that for um, for the for the supraspinatus muscle so again the supraspinatus right here um, one that um, you can also lift up like this and again it's the subscapularis muscle like I talked about before so those are the areas but if you're really having a really bad day, it's, it's actually painful or inflamed but it doesn't sound like you have much with um, pain um, so it's a totally different thing, so you need to build up strength. And I'm probably not the best person to ask about um, strength building, so uh, like a personal trainer might be better to um, get in those areas. But for massage-wise, as long as it's not inflamed that day, then you can concentrate on actually massaging those areas then. But what, what you can do um, that's kind of massage and st um, stretching related is do resistive stretches. But it's a lot better if somebody does them for you. But let's say it goes up like this but then they try to bring your arm down and do some resisting to get some so it's almost like working out in a way too to build up some strength so it's actually called PNF proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation so again PNF for short it's a lot easier to say but some resistive stretches to build up the strength in those areas and you also mentioned about um, cortisone injections the problem with cortisone injections or any kind of pain medication it masks and hides the pain so when you're um, when you have that stuff in your body then you start working out you're more likely to injure it again or have problems just because you don't feel it as much just because it numbs it so I understand the professional athletes and stuff they're just gung-ho all the time and do whatever they can to get back in the game but in the long run that's what they do is that they eventually start um, injuring themselves um, when those kind of things happen so Again, I'd go by whatever the doctor says or whatever you believe kind of thing, so I can't really make any recommendations with any kind of drug-wise. So, um, again, with doctors, I'll get to stay out of that realm. And um, those are the kind of things I can think of. But, again, you need more resistive. There's also a thing called TheraBand. It's kind of elastic kind of band, so you can build up strength that way too. So you can pull it in different directions or pull it in different directions up and down and stuff. 
um, but different areas and the areas that you're having problems um, try to mimic that and try to build up the strength is what you're going to try to do then so again therabands um, that's what those are called so hopefully that helped a little bit but again um, a personal trainer um, might be the best bet to build up the strength so again for massage wise I'm probably the person to go to but for building up strength that's not my exp expertise of course but um, please, uh, any personal trainers or people like that, leave the comments in the section below how to build up the strength then. Okay? Thank you very much.